it's on base camp though. Like, you know, we just like, we, but we go through the daily huddle process and then weekly huddle as well at the start of the week. And then that's it. And then so, like we have an open door policy. So if, if, if they need to come in like, and it's open, like they can come in and talk and I'll, I'll go to them sometimes. Like we, we see each other every day. So typically if a team doesn't have to use the process, they're not going to. I mean, that's sort of the truth in it, right? So if they, so if they, can get help inside a team meeting through just coming to your office, through calling you, they're not going to flag any problems inside the <coughs> process. So that means that we either have to remove the supports for that, or if there are any communication tips or tricks or helps or training improvements, we then have to install them into the process, right? And that and that can be quite tedious to have to train someone and then remember the exact thing that we told them and then update the actual process. So instead, I like to kind of remove the supports and that is usually a team meeting. Like I don't think team meetings are very productive if, because all that they are is just a transfer of information, right? And that's okay. However, as it, it is like, how come that transfer is happening? And it's usually because there's a hole inside a process or there's uncertainty or someone can't locate the schedule or the tools, right? Or people need to clarify some upcoming event. And all of these should have been identified inside the process before the team meeting. So we have, and you know, this is something we sort of teach and preach to our clients. You may have seen this before is that, if I jump down into uh, templates here, you know, we do try to avoid tea beatings at all costs, you know, if we can. And then, you know, if we can't, it's like, okay, well, when do you use a tea meeting? And if we're using it, it needs to be processed so that any information that is going to improve a tea member is then stored inside the actual process so that hopefully that tea meeting doesn't have to happen again as well because all that a process is is it's just transferring information right and if we have team meetings if we have open door policies that's great but we are also removing the need for the team to use that sort of source of information if they can if they can acquire it from somewhere else and usually a team meeting or a open door policy is much more higher quality um, than a process so the team's not going to be using an outdated process right and the other component too is that if the team is not using a process alongside everything else i've just had before it is typically because the process isn't helpful right um so if the process isn't helpful that is usually a sign that something is not correct in there as well um if the team is of uh, like not using a process Maybe it's hard to read, hard to see, hard to access, hard to use, right? We've got a checklist for ensuring that, you know, there are no friction points between why a team is or is not using a, a, a certain process. And um, we usually cover that for our clients in the first part of the work that we do. And that is usually, of course, optimizing the team. And this is to really un cover any sort of friction points communication overlaps drop-offs how come they are using certain tools how come they aren't right um, and usually through this process we can kind of identify small hiccups if that be for example you know needing to change accounts to get into a new dropbox account to get this training video right you know all these small friction points if it be changing accounts or can't locate a checklist or someone's not available presently right we want to remove all of that if we can um, and we want to make sure that the process is that that the process is helpful for our team so they actually enjoy doing good work against the process um, and we want to lead high example right so very commonly, as I started to deploy this years ago in 2014, I had the same issue as to it was easier for 
hire team to come to me for help as opposed to, you know, go through the actual process. So I instead, anytime I got an email or a text or someone came and saw me, I then would say, you know, really great idea, you know, let me help you out. Um, I'm just going to update the process. Give me about 10 minutes, go for it again, and, and then you'll find the answer. So I would still allow inputs to come to me, but I would not respond to them in the moment. Instead, I would improve the process or I would update it or I would communicate through you know, process um, street as well, right? So you can... so so. It's this blend of is the process easy for them to use? Is it sort of correct? Is it you know easy for them to track and locate and an update? And then are there any other supporting platforms that are sharing the load of the process that make the process somewhat redundant because they can get help either through team meetings or through each other or through any other source as well? And then are you also hitting the example of, okay, well, I'm only going to communicate through the process platform instead. So there's sort of a few things in there.